Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me for another MacBay video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys more diorama accessories, finds, uh, or ideas. And I'm kind of excited for this one because uh, I actually got some really good ones on, on, on this video in terms of like uh, accessories for dioramas. So without further ado, let's go and go one by one. So right now, what I have in front of you are three model kits that I picked up uh, in eBay. They're relatively cheap. I mean, you could, if you look around, you could probably get this for like less than ten dollars, and some of them have uh, free shipping also. The only the only catch is a lot of these are from uh, overseas, so they're coming from either Hong Kong or China. So it might take a while before you receive them in the mail, but uh, I think for like less than ten dollars, I think I'm okay with that. And and um, you know I'm not really in a hurry during that time when I bought this, so so it worked out perfect for me. Um, I haven't really put this together yet, but I just want to share you guys so you guys have an option. Um, if you're gonna, if you're deciding to buy some uh, tables or or accessories for your um, diorama, so so this one right here is a uh, table and and uh, chair set, and it just, you can see this one is uh, one twelve scale. Now again, um, the one 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 twelve scale of uh, uh, Japanese figures are usually a little smaller than than uh, the US 112 scale figures and so um, you know if you're finicky with the scale uh, then you may not want want this but for a lot for the but for the most part this is actually um, workable with the 112 scale that we have so I think I mean for me I think it's perfectly uh, fine and like again as I said this one is a uh, model kit so if you look at the back, you, you could kind of see some diagrams of, of how to put this together. So uh, not only uh, not only this one is good for uh, some accessories, I think it's also fun to build uh, for that. And this one is, uh, I think, molded in the color uh, already. So you may not need to do some painting in here unless you really want to customize it. So, um, so here's one, okay? The next one I picked up is this uh, lab, kind of like, uh, you know, table, work table. You know, it comes with, uh, again, four chairs. And I picked, this, I picked this up because I want to be able to create some sort of a laboratory scene. Uh, I have some uh, small accessories for like uh, test tubes and flask and stuff that I, I can add to this one. In. And it will be good for uh, <clears throat> for some toy photo toy photography that I'm thinking. So again, this one is a model kit, a model kit, and it's a one twelve scale. As you can see, this one is a little bit more uh, have a little uh, have a little bit more pieces uh, to put together compared to the um, previous uh, table table and chair that I showed you. So. Pretty cool. And lastly, for this model kit, uh, is this kind of like office table and chair. And um, again, um, you know, this is a model kit, and you, as you can see, you know, you have to put this together. So I'm kind of excited for this model kit. I just haven't had the time to be able to put them together, but. I can see a lot of uses for uh, these three model kits in a diorama uh, setting. So let's put that aside and let's go through the ones I have in here. And most of the stuff that I have in, he in here are uh, oriental, um, you know, themed um, accessories for diorama. So, um, and most of this, or yeah, most of this I found at. Um, Chinatown during my visits there 
except for that one over there. I actually picked that up uh, during my trips, during one of my trips in Hawaii or vacation actually. And I found that in one of the uh, the uh, flea market uh, boot over there. So anyway, I'll, I'll go more into details of that one. But let's just go with uh, this one first. So the first one I want to share with you guys is this. Um, item here and actually you know this one I already took apart um, this used to be you know strung together like that you know with that little symbol over there uh, I think this one is used for uh, it's like a charm that you hang in uh, you know anywhere basically in your house kind of like I guess it's like a Chinese um, lucky um, you know thing for <clears throat> you know for I guess during Chinese New Year's, I, I, I mean, I went to, to Chinatown around that time. And so they have a lot of these uh, on sale at the time. So I picked this up and my idea there is maybe use this as decorative pieces in like, uh, uh, you know, in an oriental style uh, diorama or temple type diorama. It's hollow as you can see. So I don't know, maybe there's an opportunity there to insert some some sort of like LED lighting. Uh, so maybe you could use this as like maybe lanterns or something. So yeah, something for me to think about. And and actually, some parts of this are already used in one of in one of the diorama uh, I made. So if you saw my one of my most recent diorama uh, video, which is the the uh, the dojo slash meditation room diorama, you'll be able to, you you'll be able to um, see a piece that's kind of similar to this one, except that I replaced the symbol with um, some uh, Japanese symbol. This one is actually Chinese symbol. Uh, I'm not really uh, you know I can't really read Chinese, so <laughs> I don't really know what this one. But I'm pretty sure this one is related to some sort of like luck or fortune so all right so that's what these things are and then <clears throat> the other ones that i picked up at chinatown is this bells um, let me see if i this one stand that up and it's like different size bells and when the first time i saw this i was like really happy because I was like I can see things or uses uses for this and one of the ideas I have in here is actually you know create or use this for like a ceremonial belt type thing similar to what I ha you know that you know um, piece right there but that one is a uh, made pre-made like that already but this one I could kind of see you know I I'll, I'll, I'm gonna build a uh, holder for this and I actually made one already in one of the uh, dioramas which is the meditation room diorama that I created if you saw that video or pictures of that you see that uh, there's a piece in there where I use kind of similar to this bell except that it's smaller so that's my main use you know idea for this one and if you look close, closely to this uh, bells, I mean they're highly I mean highly detailed, as you can see. Um, and I think for me, I don't need to do anything to this one in terms of like you know painting it or 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 whatnot. I mean it's I think it's just good the way it is. I mean it looks realistic. It's actually made out of metal, so it's you know has some weight to it. So yeah, so this one for me is ready, readily, um, uh, ready to use in terms of um, accessories for a diorama. I just need to create like a stand or something for these. All right, so moving right along, um, I've got a bunch of different statues that I picked up there as well, uh, and one of the ones that I picked up is the set of um, miniature Buddha statues and um i think this one um size wise is perfect for 
112 scale figures as an accessories and again I've used some of these at the meditation room dio that I made um, again if you look at that video you'll be able to see um, how this statue can blend in really well with 112 scale so this one is like a set and and looks like it, it comes Buddha is like in a different different um, positions you know it's just like a series so again you know you could probably you know work this the statues on like a temple type diorama you know things like that or or a room a dojo setting so it's a pretty cool item to have as an accessories and this one is i've already um, used some of these before but this is uh, the smaller uh, size or mini mini size uh, food dogs again i've used uh, a food dog in the <clears throat> in the meditation uh, room diorama which i actually repainted this to make it look like uh, stone uh, so for a stone look uh, this you know because some some of these it's kind of hard to, to pick up the details and that's the only thing that I I'm kind of um, I mean this one is good as is if you want to use it like this but um, for some reason I just find it you know the color of these uh, doesn't really help the um, the the details so um you know i'd rather have this like maybe painted like like i said a stone or maybe a, a gold color and i think that one brings out the details on this one because this is actually pretty detailed statues if you look at it closely and um here's another one basically similar just a different size I actually, you know, want um, to have options in in uh, in my dials uh, as an accessory. That's why I want like different sizes of these food dogs. You know, because I mean, you know, depending on the, the the type of usage you want, this you know, you could actually have some for interiors or exterior type. You know, um, look, and so I want to be able to have a different size. I actually have another one. Uh, bigger than this one that's already it's been painted uh, a while back and I actually have that in another video that I shared uh, a while back too uh, when I repainted that food dogs so um, yep I mean these are pretty cool to have and another one that I picked up is this kind of like dragon type statue uh, it's actually pretty cool, uh, but again, like I said, similar to that one right there, the color doesn't really um, give or show the detail of of this statue of the dragon. If you, if you look closely, there's actually like scales and different details in here that would have been really good if this was painted in a different color. I think, and so. I'm thinking of repainting this. I don't know if I'm gonna make this into like a monotone color, like a stone look or a gold look. But um, I'm kind of thinking of maybe doing some sort of like different color scheme, you know, to make it more like lively. So I don't know. I'm still thinking what I want to do with this one, but definitely this one is good for for like background uh, in a Oriental type team, you know. Or a dojo uh, diorama, so it's a good piece to have in my uh, arsenal. So just want to share with that that to you guys. So um, so the last two pieces that I'm gonna show you is something that I'm kind of excited for you know for me uh, and for you guys too if you guys could find it. Uh, and, and so let's look at the box. So if you look at the box, this is what that. Um, box look like for that item so as you can see it's a um, fully made um, kind of like you know ceremonial bell with 
the post and uh, decorative dragon um, design on the top. And so, yeah, so like I said, I picked this up during uh, my trip in uh, Hawaii during my vacation. And the first time I saw this, I was like, you know, really happy because first of all, the scale um, is looks really good for one six scale. And um, I think this one is also one of those things that's readily um, available for use. Also comes with this kind of like a uh, hammer. I mean, the sound doesn't really sound good <laughs> but but you kind of have an idea so it comes with that and again this one is I think good for for like temple diorama oriental style diorama as an accessories and this one is actually made out of metal so it's fairly heavy you know but it's really detailed even in here so Maybe, you know, do some sort of like dry brushing in here to bring out that really nice pattern. The same thing for this one right here. So that's something for me to think about. Uh, and I don't know if I uh, want to make this to look like wood on the side, you know, or this one. Um, so yeah, you have options to make whatever look you want the uh you know these columns and the top i mean you could even make it look like make it look like uh, stone look so we could paint it gray and just leave the this one and the symbol right here you know the way it is you know so but yeah i'm really excited about this because it's a, a red it's a re ready made item that you could just basically plug plug in you know and start using in your dio all right so the last one that i have is this pretty cool piece right here and i'm gonna show you the box so this is what the that box looks like if you do see it at Chinatown or in your local Chinatown and you know again I'm not uh, I'm not really you know I'm not Chinese so I don't really know what some of the symbols looks like uh, meant or stuff but one thing that I kind of picked up is that this one is I've seen this in the Chinese stores and a lot of the times I see this near the uh, their altar um, the altar like if you go to the Chinese section sometimes sometimes you see like a little corner where they have like incense and little like bowls with some food um, or fruit offerings in you know things like that right usually you'll see that so some of these there and usually they have like pictures of a person and so what I'm thinking is that this one is actually <laughs> used as like a memorial uh type thing you know um so yeah you know i'm in, i'm not trying to like, disrespect or anything because i want to use it for something else you know but um but yeah i think that's what um it's originally used for so but for me you know when i first saw this i was i really liked the the, the detail and and also the scale and so, you know, like I, like I said, you know, when the first I saw, saw this, the first thing that comes to my mind is that this will be good as a centerpiece for like a, a dojo or, or um, yeah, basically for a dojo, I think will be good. And, you know, if this could be used as like a, kind of like a focal point and, and, uh, also as a throne like what you've seen uh in here that i, I that, that i uh use an example um this articulated icons figure you know uh <clears throat> i used them as, an, uh, as a scale and as you can see you know you 
it works pretty cool as a, a throne, like a throne room um, piece. You know, obviously I'll probably gonna add another um, step right here so that the, the, the feet will be hitting the floor so that it's not hanging like that. But, you know, at least it's a good start. And, and, and it, like I said, I really like it. And, and in terms of like the color, I think this one is already good as is, you know, I like the, the, the gold, um, trim in these. And the only thing that I'll, I'll probably going to do is replace the back and then, and then in here also, you could actually access the back. As you can see right there and replace that with, you know, with the picture that you want so for me I'll probably gonna add some sort of like like Japanese symbol in here or you know related to like martial arts or something and same thing for that one like maybe like a, a clan symbol for that and make this like a, like I said like a throne room or just a centerpiece for uh, uh, dojo uh, diorama all right so that's what I that's all I have for this uh, video I hope that you were able to see something that interests you and that if you do try to hunt this at your local Chinatown I wish that you'll be able to find it because I think it's a good um, accessories to have um, especially for those people who collect uh, martial arts figures like this articulated icons. I think these accessories works uh, pretty well with that kind of uh, setting. So once again, I think, thank you everyone for uh, tuning in and I appreciate all the support. And always, um, please, if you like um, what I'm showing you or what I'm doing, please hit uh, like. And then if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and always make your comment. If you have a question, leave it there. And I usually try to answer it as fast as I can. Uh, and you could also email me if you want to be able to ask more questions. Okay? But in the meantime, I hope you guys have um, a good day and good time at uh, making dios. And I'll see you guys next time.